Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of The Desk. I'm your host, JCS, the owner, founder, ruler, Grand Puba of OCW and subsidiaries. Listener discretion is always strongly advised. If you didn't know, The Desk is my platform to rant, rave, pitch me, moan, all things that encompass OCW and subsidiaries. I already said listener discretion is advised. I'm not going to repeat myself. All right, look, this is the second take. Let's keep it 100. For some strange reason, I have all these thoughts in my head, all these ideas, all these things. And as soon as it's time to go live on the microphone, the brain goes blank. Never fails. In addition to that, maybe it's my advanced age. Maybe it's uh, the, the ghost of lungs past. But for some reason, whenever I got to lean into this, this microphone, this beautiful dulcet microphone, I got to take a breath every now and again. It's strange. Like, like I'm trying to belt out a Mariah Carey song. It's, it's, it's bugging, but it is what it is. So I got about five minutes in. Started freaking out. And I'm thinking to myself, am I having a fucking anxiety attack? Just talk about this hobby nonsense. Like, I don't know what, what's going on, but either way, that's neither here nor there. I'm, I'm fighting the good fight. So basically, I'm going to keep this short to the point because we got a lot to talk about. Not a lot of time. Like, I ain't trying to be here two hours. Shout out to like everyone who did for those those two shows. They were fun. They were great. But goddamn, were they long and taxing. Uh, we got Riot 495. I want to do a quick review, but let's be honest. I forgot most of the shit I had to talk about 495. And then you got some on 193, which I'm halfway through. So I don't know if it's even fair to, to even go that far because, like, I don't know everything. I know some, but I don't think it's fair to just give it, you know, give it a half-hearted. But you know what? Fuck it. We'll give it a shot. But what I do know 100% is uh, the voting for the Terminal 200 number one contender uh, type is done. I'll explain that and I'll explain. Uh, well, actually, I haven't even checked yet, so I'll check. I'll check. We'll, we'll learn together what happens. So it might be fun. It might be terrifying. Who knows? Uh, we have Riot 500 coming up, Terminal 200 coming up, Resolution coming up. Uh, before that, he wrote to Glory. There's a lot to talk about and mad, mad stuff we got to get through together. So let's get it on and let's try to let's try to burn through this as quickly as possible. And we can all get on with our, with our lovely lives. <coughs> okay. First things first, let's start off with Turmoil 200. Uh, if you noticed, uh, 490, what is it, 490, oh boy, not 490, 390. Jeez, I gotta check. 390, 193. There's numbers everywhere. As you noticed, a little overwhelmed. There's a lot of numbers going on and trying to keep up and keep pace and yada, yada, yada. Okay, so we got Turmoil 193. The announcement was made that uh, B17 and Austin Lee will be fighting. For the interim CCW championship, not going to rehash that, but I will say there might be some questions about this. Generally, I'll say suck my dick from the back, but I'll answer the questions. Honestly, um, given the circumstances of what we had to go through with turmoil in the past two weeks, the cleanup, which to, to, to turmoil's credit, and I was actually discussing this with uh, with um, Dupree, the booker for Riot, that uh even with the changes like the show is really good like like without having tendrils and everything like you guys are still standing on your own as a matter of fact i think this episode actually has more role plays in riot and that's happened every now and again so for that i say i commend you guys and i also want to commend you guys because i'm noticing also that both riot and the turmoil threads people are agreeing and disagreeing agreeing to disagree conversations are happening I'll be honest, they're not happening to the scope that I want it to, but we're getting there. And that's the bad, that's the part. Watching people, you know, throwing some two cents. I still think that there's a lot of rookies who aren't speaking up or at least giving any kind of um uh what's the word I'm looking for? Any kind of feedback. Like for example, we got like, I don't know, four or five new turmoil rookies. And I know at one point we were doing the, the pay-per-view was going up and they were just DMing, which annoyed the shit out of me. I thought that was disrespectful, but I'm old, so what do I know? Maybe maybe given the fact of everything, maybe they watched it after or before. Who, who the hell knows? But I see people yapping in Discord, which is cool, but they're not the people on the show. So either you're watching and not processing or you're watching, keep it to yourself, or you're not watching at all. If you're not watching at all, I mean, two words about it. 2006 will say, fuck you, get out. Uh, 2018 is like 
don't do yourself a disservice because it's good to know where you're going from like and where you're going and where you're going from it it looks it's good to know where you're going by looking at what's happening so i would advise any rookie you don't have to go top to bottom but get a basic gist of what the fuck is going on because that would serve you well into the future okay anyway so with uh, b17 and austin lee i'll say it here too uh these two kind of like i mean from the jump they've been there as far as i'm aware and you know could be wrong never said i'm perfect neither of them ever had a one-on-one -on -one shot for the top i know b17 was in the triple threat at lucian was it 10 maybe lucian 10 for the turmoil championship against cassidy jackson versus b17 and we saw what happened there oof but other than that, I don't think either of them have ever had a shot at the top. As far as mechanically sound, uh, I feel they are two of the best. That's up to debate because there's plenty of people who are like, well, I beat you in a dark match. So uh, we saw that Rex beat the piss out of B-17. I don't know, maybe December of last year or I, I, whatever. The point is, with this game, it's on any given Sunday. So there's also a measure when it comes skill wise but in my head and i'll defend it to the cows come home shut up dog that uh these two are where they need to be so with that being said i'm actually looking really forward to next week's match between b17 and austin lee unfortunately they're in the same faction so we got that going for us but that's how i feel so now moving forward with that we have, um, you know, I gave it, I decided to give you guys the option to vote just because I wanted to be a little more, I don't know, transparent or whatever, or democratic maybe is a better word. From my 13 years, I'll be honest, in hindsight, most of the time, y'all don't know what the fuck y'all want. Like y'all say, oh, yeah, yeah. and then we do it and it's like, oh God. So, you know, that being said, I'll check to see what one, <laughs> and then depending on my reaction, <laughs> I'll explain everything. Matter of fact, let me do that right now. Okay, so um, we have the road to 200, number one contender, and let me pull this up. Now, before I hit analyze results, I guess I want to do a drum roll. So, click, and oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. That is, that's beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> so going by percentages, uh, top contenders is 16.22%. I don't know why if it's not round numbers, but whatever. Uh, Super S Cup round robin coming in at 40.54%. And King of Turmoil coming in at 43.24 percent so roughly three percent uh, i mean basically it looks like it's one vote and thank christ, oh my god thank god oh jesus christ you, you don't know how okay so yeah so in layman's terms it looks like king of turmoil won so let me explain what each is and then uh we can go from there and i'm actually happy that this one I honestly, if it was up to me, I wanted King of Turmoil or Top Contenders. So here's what uh, Top Contenders is. Now, when I was going to post the um, the uh, the actual thing, I wanted to post the amount of people. And I was advised against that by everybody. Not everybody, but people and staff. They just put whatever it is and we'll go from there. So maybe that's to maintain KFIZ or whatever. Either way, I'm not going to argue with silly shit. So anyway, Top Contenders. Top Contenders is essentially a four-person one night tournament which would mean that um at terminal 200 there would have been a one night tournament with four people so it's like a versus b c versus d and then the winners face off and then they face things so it's like three matches something like that boom okay now this uh coming in number two almost number one is super s cup round robin now i don't know if people know what the s cup is i know that one or two people message me like what's that and i would say go to youtube from a logistical standpoint, I hate the Super S Cup. We did it once in 2016 for both Riot. I'm sorry, yeah, for both Xbox One and PS2. On PS4, rather. I think the only person who enjoyed the S Cup 
was the cheat and he won one of them <sighs> shocker um the other guy who won drago did not enjoy the s cup at all the, the s cup is a nice idea in theory but in practice and in in function it is essentially like well actually no let, let's first roll back uh the original s cup for ps4 was uh 10 guys not wasn't gonna do 10 guys fuck that because that alone was i think it's 40 something matches i don't know the math but it's 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 a lot i know that um the s cup for uh total was like 40 or 90 matches there's a, a lot of matches actually you know what let's let's check and i know some of them weren't even uploaded so that's the other thing too i just know that from a logistical standpoint i really did not want to deal with an s cup because it, not only is it a pain in the ass it's geared more towards a competitive person which i'm okay with that's not a problem it's just that as you see the point spread enthusiasm and interest slowly wanes to the point where people are just doing their matches and like you know in the s cup that you know you kind of know when you're not going to win so it's like why even you know continue so that that's what happened a lot of times with 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 the, the s cup we had like once people got into the the mode and they saw the the um the numbers and everything they were like oh um i mean this thing is looking like it's 40 videos and i know some of them weren't uploaded so it, that's 40 and this is including uh da, 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 da. i think this is including f i don't know if it was five or ten i i don't remember it was a lot of people this is including ps4 and xbox so this the uh x the ps4 version if if it would have won would have been maybe 10 plus matches ish and no because i was only going to use five people so that was that was the thing so you know you would be like oh we're excited that's cup five people wait how come i picked yeah there you go now the king of ocw also a pain in the ass but it's a more manageable pain if that makes any sense from a logistical standpoint this is an eight person tournament and generally we're a little more free to include people that we may not feel uh i guess honestly deserve maybe a shot but you know we like throwing some wild cards in there just to see on the safe side or whatever not the safe side but just to see what happens because you never know we've had tournaments where where some fuck shit happened and like oh shit didn't know he was gonna get to the like third or fourth round and he, the dude does it's cool so that's where we're at so this one is actually eight people so thank god this one because now eight people get a shot and it's more people you know it's more people it's easier to manage and We'll see what happens. So what's, what we're going to do, and this is going to lead me to Riot 500, which is um, half booked, I would say. And please try to give me a little bit of leeway because there's a lot of information trying to parse and, and bring through, bring through rather. So the way April breaks down is the following. We got uh, Road to Glory April 1st. Okay. And uh, that's half booked. We're going to try to include some more matches as we go, but that's, excuse me, the card for that's going to go up fairly soon. After that, uh, Riot 500, if I'm not mistaken, is April 16th, around that time. Now, the week prior to uh, Riot 500, there's going to be no Riot. We're going to have the week off. Riot's going to have the week off for OCW, you know, people, yeah fuck it riot's gonna have the week off i'm gonna have the week off because i'm gonna need that time to put together 500 because 500 is gonna clock in at about i don't know maybe eight to ten matches there's some matches i've been pitching that that involve um ps4 people and in addition to that um if you're not booked on riot or if, even if you're ps4 or terminal rather you can more than certainly be at riot 500 it's not a problem so don't think that just because you're not a riot guy or riot original or whatever that you you know you you, you are invited it's everyone's invited now if you're gonna do a match and i ain't tell you to do one you can kiss my ass and suck my dick because it's not gonna happen but if you want to write something go for it i got your back okay now april 26th or 27th is turmoil 200 that is 25 percent booked so and then um at the end of may haven't had it i'm looking at um the middle of may but we might need the end of may because it's going to be so much april's going to be so so jam-packed it's it's going to be crazy 
it's going to be it's going to be lunacy so i was thinking you know i was thinking anywhere between the may 13th 20th or 27th either way it's, it's going to be one of those i don't have one specific yet as we're building because there's still artwork needs to be done there's still posters there's still promotional material there's still you know aspects of the car that need to be finalized uh and there's still you know work to be done and here's the other thing too if you're not working towards lucian you're doing it wrong even if you're in the tournament even if you're like the number one contender even if you're like uh the champ the ccw champion or if the ocw you all need to be working towards resolution because you know what happens during resolution we summon knights of the hall and a lot of old guys come back and they will take your spot if you're not stepping up so step the fuck up and we're gonna have between prime and lucian at least 15 to 16 maybe even 17 matches so we're trying to do the best but you got to meet us halfway so if you're gonna drag your feet and not do jack shit don't be mad when some old dude come back and take your spot because what are you gonna do he got equity you don't you got to build equity that's the other thing we'll get to uh later on so yeah so on riot 500 we're gonna have um the the finals of the the finals of the um uh king of turmoil so whoever are the last two those guys will fight representing turmoil on riot 500 and that winner will go on to turmoil 200 two weeks later to fight the uh you know the the, the whoever the champion is whether it be b17 or austin lee i know that kind of gives you maybe two three weeks to build but for something like this you really don't have you don't really need that much it's like look i'm the challenger you're the guy maybe you're not the guy you know you can figure it out and i'm sure whoever knows you know whoever becomes the num you know whoever becomes the guy or whatever the more contender will let b17 or austin know a little bit ahead of time so that they can plan accordingly so yeah april is a motherfucker so i'm gonna need all of you guys to step it up i'm working extra hard i've been working extra hard since the beginning of march due to shenanigans of uh, the cheat so i'm gonna need you dudes to step it up for april for me because we going full tilt i'm trying to balance it out so that you know april's you know rugged and raw we get to may we get a little bit of a reprieve to like kind of like you know chill out a little bit the cards will get slightly smaller just to give people some breathing room and to give them more time to write and then it's it's full push to lucian and then you know we got lucian and then after that we see what happens because you know once people get to lucian they're like well look at that i gotta go and uh, save the planet so i'll uh i'll see you guys in, in, uh, in five months so just be aware yeah uh, and if anything after lucian if you feel you ain't got shine that's your time to shine so yeah so in summation king of ocw a player tournament the road to the gold uh we're gonna have eight guys it's gonna run from i want to start it at uh 195 i believe if possible i might just throw in one or two matches or why probably one i'll probably throw some on ride just so that we can get the timing right so that once we have ride 500 we have that those finals i mean uh the last the last uh, two guys to fight so we'll figure that out as we always do because what we have to do now then um in addition to turmoil 200 and we're gonna have the you know the number one contender versus the interim champion and then we'll have uh that leads us to the next topic which is the belt discussion um currently if you want a visual the ccw championship is essentially big gold but uh in like platinum or silver not silver but you know uh a lighter metal so that's the interim championship that's the as it was coined the retro ccw championship we're going to be whole again in the interest of transparency and just you know old and new that's that's what i want to push this this season old and new we're giving you know we're giving a little bit of e a little bit of east a little bit of west a little bit of north a little bit of south i want to have a, a championship uh tournament in the sense that you guys will make belts or whoever wants to i know some people are already working on them and then we'll vote on them and the winner or the winning belt uh design will be you know that will be the one that's displayed in the the main event of uh, terminal 200 so i wish everybody luck on that and whatever you know whatever happens we'll see we'll see what's up but i know there's maybe two or three in the works i know some of the guys are going to start throwing belts on and then i'll post i post them so you guys can see as they're as they're going and you guys can you know make notes or whatever and then we'll have the voting we'll figure it out so 
for 200 which is a the term of wrestlemania we got the um uh, the belt competition we got the number of contender versus the interim champion we have uh, oh man i forgot oh yeah before i forget we also have the graduation of quite a few rookies i think the last count i had was four four rookies now i know this is a question that was raised i don't remember who raised it maybe it was uh just if i'm mistaken i apologize we had the question about like how long does it take for a rookie to be promoted and yada 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 so here for that i'll say this when you're a rookie in lcw you kind of have it easy in the sense that i mean for the most part at least and uh one moment please delicious water and by what i mean vodka you have the option of as a green name expectations not being as high on you and i mean in the sense that just being and doing what you're supposed to do will give you will give you high praise not high praise per se but it's a good look just by doing your job you're like okay cool he's doing his job and over time you build equity this is the other thing that i was trying to say and i might be using the wrong terminology when i say equity but you notice with me a lot of times i'll always look to the old school and the reason i do that is because that's tried and tested like i know why i stand with the old school because at points i would put stock into the new school i mean we saw what happened with the cheat but not for nothing even other people and it would be led to disappointment so i would rather go with what i know than take a chance so when i'm saying that i say that to say this you you have to build equity in yourself and in oc and ocw in turn will reward that like if if we see that you're someone to be counted on if we see that you're someone that's competing and doing matches doesn't have to be for the belt if you're just doing your job to the best of your ability and you're consistent that helps you raise equity which leads to the point about um the promotions and being a rookie so with being a rookie you you have more uh leeway to be a screw up in the sense that like if you're mad like for example flojo's fpr is fucking garbage and you know it's something that he she's gonna have to work on but here's the thing by being a rookie you can have trash fpr because you can fix that it just means that you know i'm not gonna be like oh let's make him a wrestler because what happens is once you get promoted you know that that leeway is gone because now you grown you supposed you at the big you at the adult table now you supposed to know what to do as as a uh you know as a promoted person at the bare minimum you have the toolkit to have equity and success like at the bare minimum like there should not be like you know once one you know one or two things will happen that's cool like i know seb had some issues uh last week and, and i know someone was like oh you should be redusted and you know eh, you know little things happen that's fine but to be egregiously awful as someone who's promoted is unacceptable that's why if you're still a rookie it's cool because you still have that floor that or rather that ceiling like okay well you're a rookie so i expect you to be a screw up until you're not now that being said promotions are a combination of couple of a couple of things uh it's time it's consistency it's effort and it's what you put out so if i see you're like a perfect example jet draven has been a rookie for about a year and a half that ain't no one's fault but his you know now he's working towards not being a rookie because one of the main problems was his fpr on thirst and that's gone now we just need consistency you get what i'm saying like there's been time the time portion is, is already done uh consistency is coming and then you know work ethic and exact and etc etc so if you're not you know if you're not promoted on terminal 200 because i got four i already got i already know who to who to four i'm picking if you're not promoted um i don't know deal with it i know some people like i should be i, I don't care you, you're gonna go you're gonna be promoted when i think you're ready and if i don't think you're ready you're not gonna get promoted simple as that you're gonna have to grind out and here's a fun fact Shu mcgee was a rookie for almost maybe nine ten months <laughs> forget about it so i, I you know that's that's where i'm at i, I don't care 
you're you're gonna be promoted when I think you're ready. Or rather, let, let let's uh, amend that slightly. When when your peers and I think you're ready, because I also look, like I look at other people. I'm like, what do you think? Nah, not ready, not yet. What do you think? Maybe. What do you think? Hell no. I bet. Cool. Because as I said, once you become, once you're promoted, you lose that. Oh, I did. Oh, I didn't. Uh, no, 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 bro. Now you get chewed out. Now you get the hoots. Now you get me on the podcast calling you a piece of shit. Nah. So don't do it to yourself. Work hard, play hard, do what you got to do. I mean, we'll rather write, fight, keep moving. Because again, RL, of course, OCW. No question. But you know, you know how it goes. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, I mean, that pretty much covered it when it comes to, you know, what's going on with Terminal 200. I know there's more to come. And I'm hoping in the coming weeks, because you guys got plenty of time that, you know, Terminal 200 builds up. I know the Road to Glory is going to have a couple of matches r- r- involving Turmoil and Riot. Uh, but Turmoil 200, for the most part, is still pretty, pretty much a bare canvas. But there's time, so I'm not, I'm not stressing it. Maybe I got to sit down. And I, like, cause today I, I sat down and, to- and spoke uh, to the Booker for Riot, and we spitballed a little bit of, you know, 500. But 500 is, is pretty much almost there because there's so much history and there's so much. All I got to do is just. And you know, the, the you know the the cowboys come home, so I'm not even worried. Trauma is a little bit different because it's it's a lot it's a lot newer people. But uh, for example, <coughs> excuse me. Like when it comes to turmoil, like an interesting match would be maybe having Cassidy at Turmoil 200 because he was one of the original Turmoil people. Shit to see, I would I would actually if if possible I would actually do. Uh, Tank versus Jimmy in the cage at Terminal 200. Resurrect Tank from somewhere. Get him off the BBDs and bring him back to the OCW or something like that. And there's a lot of matches that could take place. So, you know, maybe I'll sit down with uh, with Austin and we'll we'll uh, start building out some some foundations because as it stands now, there's there's a foundation, but we need to put walls and everything. And again, both brands deserve it, and we're gonna do what we can. All right. Um. That's going to cover most of what I got. Oh, yeah. If you don't have a cutout, get a cutout immediately. Again, with the discussion. Yo, some of y'all rookies are just kind of sitting there. Don't do that. I know that we already lost one rookie. Actually, uh, yeah, shout out to, to Yoko because I like Yoko, but Yoko is, is done. And, and the funny thing about Yoko is Yoko used to actually be on Xbox back in the day. Yoko fought, fought uh, uh, Ryu, lost, and then just disappeared. So Yoko comes to Turmoil years later, uh, fights on Turmoil. I I like the I like the character a lot, and now no no idea if I'm if I'm wrong if Yoko's still around you know shout out to Yoko uh, say something because I don't know where the hell you are and that's where we're at. Uh, so yeah, um, we got anything for Riot? I mean 495. Uh, let's check out 495 real quick. I'm not gonna try to. To dwell on this too long but uh just common sense thing the juki the juki match jesus christ the juki scar uh ac cobra match now oh first of all shout out to each yeah i'm not even gonna say the first name your first name is stupid quartz though quartz was an alt honestly and that's this is an example of of someone who if he if this person remains consistent this person will, will probably become rookie like not asap but in a timely fashion just because fpr is is mint right uh and it's you know doing stuff so you got to be consistent i mean it's easier on right because there's actually less you know less rookie so it's a lot easier to stand out just by doing your job and shout out to russ cole as well but yeah the uh the triple threat oh my god this thing was 41 minutes I remember having a conversation with Mr. Marley and him telling me it was 40 minutes. So like, look, you got the choice. You can submit the 40 minutes and get torn to shreds or you can cut the match in, you know, in half and do whatever. So in my head, I'm assuming that 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 Mr. Marley is going to heed my words and, you know, shorten out, get the match in typical Marley fashion uh, and juices are missing. I took the liberty of adding the Scar and uh, uh, Mr. Marley entrance. You're welcome. 
and I took the liberty of cutting the match significantly in half. I didn't take any time in making it pretty, like I didn't like select different spots because if if you can't be bothered, I, I you know. So this is not to, to to dissuade Mr. Marley or throw shade on Mr. Marley. This is just to bring to bring forth you know information in the sense that it's like you're trying but you're almost there like i have to give you enough points for the effort but you got to meet me halfway like i don't like to deal with videos and uh speaking of videos i know that some of the now if i'm incorrect i apologize the b17 videos they have their own custom soundtracks which i i love they're they're awesome they actually fit the narrative of the actual uh match but i ask you to please please very be careful or be very careful when it comes to the copyright stuff because I'm noticing these, you know, having I only got flagged once uh, and I fixed it, it's not a problem. I mean, but I had to stop what I was doing and re-render a video and it's very annoying. So please be mindful of what you submit because when it happens, like when I'm in, in the mode and I'm getting everything done and I have to stop to fix a video, I'm going to lose my shit. If I lose my shit, you're going to hear it. So I just want to make that abundantly clear. Uh, yeah, so shout out to Scar for looking like Alistair Black. Uh, I like the call, but it's just very Alistair Black. I like the entrance too. It's cool. Uh, Cobra with the two big wins, which is which is nice. Uh, H2O doing what H2O does. Appreciate it. Ricky versus Jet. Um, quick notes on this, and people aren't no are involved. Ricky Jet match happened. Uh, if I if I'm aware, the finish was actually Ricky pin Jet, and then Jet reversed the pin and pin Ricky. Beautiful finish. Match was timely. The redo was done because ricky had other activities he needed to attend to which happens so the redo happened the redo's way longer and a match could have ended maybe five to you know ten minutes earlier this is what i told jet and i'll say it here in public too uh matches are important yes they are but dragging a match out or trying to be a dramatic tv redo if we can tell it's happening you failed it's it's a very delicate line and not many people can actually uh you know do it so please be mindful of that. You know that as soon as I see a match, it's like 10 minutes or, or 11, 12 minutes. I get excited. I'm happy. I'm like, yes. But uh, if it's over, it's over. If you're getting bodied, you're getting bodied. And this is what I told you. You, you have to have that competitive edge if you want to succeed. Like, you, you know, if, if someone can't defend themselves because they're not good, it is what it is. You know, it's, it's no knock on that person, but what are you gonna do you you just have to take the l and, and keep and learn and adapt and keep moving it, it's okay and maybe you'll get a little bit like oh you got bodied oh you got wrecked it doesn't matter keep it moving keep on trucking because just because you got body don't mean shit because as long as you write and doing what you got to do you get to where you got to get to you get close to where you got to get to there's no glass ceiling in in essence because there's all kinds of extenuated circumstances that happen in ocw and you guys have seen it time and time again so don't get hung up on that and don't get hung up on i'm trying to be Shawn michaels and then it just looks like yo what what is this garbage don't do that it is a disservice to me it's a disservice to you it's a disservice to your opponent and it's a disservice to the to the you know to the to the audience to the fans i don't want to see that shit i don't want to see obvious tv redos i don't i, don't, I just don't want to see it. if if you're not good you're not good you just got to get better and so you'll get better maybe you won't if you don't if you don't get better you know we'll try to like we'll see where you're at where you're at and we'll try to put you with people that'll help i guess balance that out because you know if you put two i guess lower tier excuse me lower tier people against each other that match will still work out because they're the same skill set some people are on intermediate some people are on low some people are on like expert it happens it is what it is just have to adapt so i just wanted that to be clear because i know that um a lot of a lot of that happens on terminal like you know don't do that just just go it's, it's okay just, just fight because when you try to plan on spots it doesn't really work out like if if i can tell and i'm this is the thing i'm i'm a dullard if i can tell some some uh, shenanigans are afoot what do you think other people can so don't do it to yourself respect yourself um where we're at sentai hair being sentai hair da, 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 da. the bobby promo bob 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 uh. <laughs> I would love to see uh, if we had crossplay. I would love to see uh, um, a program with Bobby Minio and Capo. That would be a program to watch, in my opinion. Um, 
Mab and Molly, the whole, you know what? I'm not going to do a ride review. There's just too much. There's too, you know, too much to go through. I will say on Turmoil, it's, it was really cool to see Jimmy come back. Uh, like I kind of got like a nostalgia pop because Jimmy was a staple of Turmoil in the beginning. And the funny thing is, I remember that, um, one of the cheats big, uh, whatever, whatever it was, is like all the Terminal originals used to like, you know, shit on them. Like, oh, you know, B-17, oh, Jimmy, and blah, 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 Tank, and, and then Jack, more yada, yada, yada. So it's kind of nice to see them come back and, and do what they do. And it's kind of nice to see some other people come back too. We got some uh, returns and basically like, oh, what can I do? I'm like, look, get in where you fit in, man. Get in where you fit in and hold on tight because there's going to be some, some madness over here. But yeah, it was nice to see Jimmy in a true Jimmy fashion, bodied <laughs> by <a> rookie, <laughs> bodied by a rookie, bro. I just, I mean, no, again, no, no disrespect, but yo, son, just, I mean, it's Jimmy, B. It is Jimmy. So what, what you expect, son? Unless the rookie's juicing. So if the rookie's juicing, you know, gonna be some problems. And shout out, shout out to Kaz. Um, and it's funny because it's, right, it's right after the the um the what you call the match. I think Kaz has a lot of potential. His match with CJ, short to the point. He was told to fix the reversals, and his his theory is he doesn't want to because he's not here to win or lose. I mean, that's fine. Like that attitude is okay. I don't, you know, I would just it's just good to have. But if you don't want to do it, I'm not gonna force you. But know that you're doing yourself you know you're hindering yourself and if you want to have a good match you should have all the tools necessary to um facilitate that but if you don't that's entirely up to you but just know that you want to have a good match doesn't mean let me hit this i'll let you hit that don't do not do that do not do that cause so just be aware of that it's nice to see ricky writing uh I, maybe what i'll do is i'll just kind of quickly skim and then you know, do a do a write up. That's probably a shitty write up that no one's gonna comment on. But yeah, it's kind of just good to see like you know guys like CJ and and um and Kaz right and Ricky's writing. That was that was one of the things Ricky was was worried about. As far as Justin uh, Jess goes, Jess is one of my like uh, dark horses. I like this dude a lot. He writes, he comments, he he's interactive despite having a busy schedule. He's still doing stuff with OCW, which I appreciate. So that's one of that's one of my guys. With that, I would say the card don't match the the gimmick, which is weird. That was the conversation I had with somebody else. Like, we like the car, but it feels like the car don't match the Hollywood gimmick. I was oddly enough, I kind of think a little bit, kind of like um, like uh, Sterling Archer meets Johnny Cage ish. This guy looks like a, like a YouTuber. <laughs> this dude looks like a YouTuber because of the long ass beard or whatever. And I don't know, man. I was the yeah. I was uh, what the hell's this dude's name? Um. What's that dude from uh, that show? God damn it. Hold on. I'm trying to think. What the hell is this dude's name? He's like a... Yeah. Did, like like I said, like... um, For me, Jess is kind of like if you... if you I, Would I envision him based, based on what I wrote and the guy himself and whatever? I envision him some kind of cross, like I said, between Sterling Archer, uh, um, Cage from... Uh, uh, Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat, and Titus Welliver, the Hollywood actor. Or the show actor, or whatever. I kind of see him as some kind of mishmash of that, whatever the fuck that means. It's just you know, look, I'm giving you, I'm giving you my my uh, my fuego take on on that shit. Uh, what else we got? Da, 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 da. I need to see more from other guys. Like, I love, um, what's this dude's name? Is Joe? I was gonna say Joshua. Joseph Diamond. Joseph Diamond has a beautiful theme, beautiful call, good move set, good FPR, but. I don't know if he's coming or going. How can I how can I put him somewhere if I don't know where he's coming or going? Like I know there's a little tag thing brewing, which is cool, but do look like a star, but you gotta act like it, bruh. So, you know. It is what it is, baby. And where else were? I? Yeah, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. Maybe I'll add a little more terminal stuff later. Like I said with the riot stuff, it's just there's just so much shit going on. So we're gonna wrap up with that. And the, oh, the last thing, the the sim rumble a little weird about it did not hate it but it's it's just jarring to see like the change in arena can't it can't be helped so you know it is what it is um it can't be helped 
the arena change was, was, was jarring and annoying, but again, that can't be helped. Watching a sim match, if I'm a sim guy, it's cool, but watching OCW in a sim match feels so strange to me, so I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. But as, as it progressed, I kind of like, you know, I kind of dug it. My favorite was, uh, was, um, uh, what's this dude's name? Nick, was it, is it Nick Bates? Or so, I know it's Bates. Last name is Bates. Whatever the fuck the first name starts with an N. Nick, Nate, Nate Bates, Nick Bates. I think it's Nick Bates, whatever. Nick Bates comes out to, um, Boyd's theme. That, that, that was funny. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, sorry. Um, that's actually... I think that's just theme, but never mind. You, you get if you watch the match, you'll see what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's what's gonna do it for me. And the, the reveal was cool, and yeah, I'll elaborate later. It's just you don't, you know, dude. It's just so much. So that's where we're at. So in summation, and wrapping it up in the 40 minute mark, and hopefully you're still with me uh, with this, you know, trying to be quick. And it is what it is. April is gonna be a pisser. Road to Glory, April 1st. Uh, Riot 500 April 16th ish Terminal 200 April 27th and uh, Resolution the 13th to 22nd or the 27th or something like that just a lot so yeah rock and roll y'all it's gonna be crazy in the words of the immortal Jim Cornette actually nah thank you for listening God bless have a good night evening afternoon whatever the hell you have especially if you're in the upside down any questions, you know, hit the Discord. Any comments or concerns, form on the Discord and keep it moving. Thank you for listening. Have a blessed day.